Rick Beato. I enjoy trolling so much. Is a YouTuber with over 2.7 million subscribers. His primary focus is music education. If I hear you whine one more time about practicing. And he has a number of products available for purchase to further your education. There's the Beato Ear Training Program, PDF transcriptions of lessons, the Quick Lessons Pro Guitar Course, and Neural, a music brain training app for unborn and very young babies. This even had a full advert video that, with a couple of edits, becomes very Black Mirror. Neural is a cutting edge cognitive development app for infants and children ages zero through six. It, it uses a concept called high information music immersion to specifically target it at the first critical window of your child's brain development from the second trimester through the end of their first year. You see, being a musician myself, I had this crazy thought. What if you played highly complex, or what I like to call high information music for a baby, prenatally and for the first couple years of their life, would it sound normal to them? My wife would put headphones on her stomach and we'd listen together. That was a joke, by the way. Beato stands right now, be like, Ugh. Jokes aside, onto the topic of the video. We're going to be doing a book review, or more accurately, a PDF review. Arguably, one of the most well-known products that Rick sells is the Beato book. Sorry, no, the, the Beato book. There have been several versions through the years, and it's gained an almost legendary status. It's a creative approach to music theory and improvisation for guitar and other instruments. That's really about as much description as there is on the site you buy it from, though you are allowed to look at the table of contents. But that's it. Pretty much all the promo for this is done on Rick's channel, and there are some weighty claims. It started in January of 2017, and we're, well, we're at the end of March, so... The ultimate music theory book, beginner to advanced all instruments. And Rick himself has said, Also, the Beato book, if you want to learn about music theory, that's how you do it. So, I had pretty high hopes for this book. But it was a bit of a letdown. It's priced at $49, and there are discounts and deals that happen throughout the year, but its standard price is $49. And what this gets you is a PDF download of the book. I want to stress that there is no physical medium of this book available, it is purely a digital download, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. It's a 500 page document, and you might think on first glance that is a lot, but in this case it really does depend on what's on those pages. I'm looking at the most recent 4.0 version of the Beato book, by the way. My first criticism is that, for a Beato book, there's surprisingly very little Beato. What I mean by this is music theory is music theory. The information tends to stay the same, it's the teacher and how it's taught which changes. Love or hate him, there is no denying that Rick is very knowledgeable when it comes to music theory. He was a college professor in the late 80s and early 90s, and it would make sense why you would want to learn from him. So it took me by surprise to see that there wasn't a huge amount of input from Rick on this, at least in a text format. I did an approximate calculation and excluding the dedication and the author's note pages along with any titles, there's approximately 8,422 words in a 500 page book. That's really not a lot. Rounding up, that's about 17 words per page. And if this book was purely just that text, it'd be about 20 to 21 pages long. And this is a 500 page book. So, what's the rest of it got? Well, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of information here. Lots of charts, written music examples, and hundreds upon hundreds of guitar chords. But as I previously mentioned, music theory is music theory, and all that information in today's day and age is available for free on the internet. And oftentimes when I see this argument made against formal education, I don't think it's a very strong point. It's not just the information, but how it's taught which adds value. But in this book, it doesn't really feel like it's being taught. There's often only a handful of sentences per topic, with little to no explanation of the actual topic. It feels much more like the information is being placed in front of you, which is exactly what Google does. And that feeling is only compounded when things like the Circle of Fifths page is lifted directly off Wikipedia. It's a small thing, but it does cheapen the experience a bit. It's a $50 book, 
You could spend five minutes in Photoshop and create your own diagram. What the fuck, Richard? There's the claim made that the book is for all instruments and it's for beginners to advanced, and those two claims I just have to disagree with. The book assumes a lot of the reader. At minimum, they're able to read music, mainly treble clef, but a little bit of bass clef in there too, which is fine, but it certainly rules out any beginners from being able to read this book, and if we're being honest, most guitar players too. My personal takeaway is that the book doesn't really quite know what it's trying to be. It says it's for all instruments, and there certainly are bits in this book that can be used with all instruments, but the book itself isn't. You'll run into examples like, try these on piano, but what if you don't play piano? The first 100 pages of the book's examples are almost purely written music. Then the next 200 plus are just guitar chords and scales. There's hundreds and hundreds. But now if you're the piano player, this bit's useless. And just bulk information of every chord that exists isn't exactly special. You could get it in just about any guitar chord book. Wanna learn some sus chords? I'm not joking though, this is a huge chunk of the book. Over 200 pages. And at that point, it really is a direct competitor with a Google search. I don't know, man. You've been seeming sus lately. When tab and written music do finally show up together, you're 338 pages in and on chapter 4. And if you think that the readers of the book would require a tab along with music notation, why does it take this long for it to show up? My feelings don't differ too much on the digital formatting of the book either. Why is it solely digital? Now, there could be a plethora of reasons that are useful for having the book in a digital format. For example, if this book is intended to be used alongside Rick's videos, well that would make perfect sense and would be really useful to have a page full of links that coincide with each chapter and every topic talked about. Rick has two channels with over 1200 videos, it's going to be tough to narrow it down and that could be really useful. But this isn't included the digital copy of the book serves the same exact purpose as if it was printed off. I've had a look at what a few other people think of this book, and the general consensus seems to be that it's a good reference guide or music theory encyclopedia. And I would agree. But it's not sold as that. It's supposed to be the ultimate music theory book, from beginner to advanced for all instruments, and if you're looking to learn music theory, that's how you do it. But I don't think it is. If you were buying this product to support your favourite YouTuber, that's fair enough. If you were buying it to use as a digital document that you could use offline as a music theory encyclopedia, a lot of information, understandable. But if you're buying this because it's the ultimate theory book for beginners that you can use with any instrument, I, I don't think you're going to have a good time. But that's the review with a few jokes thrown in. Please don't copyright strike me, Rick. Bye bye. I turned myself into a pick Morty! Boom! I'm pick Rick!